and welcome to this week's edition of Hockey and Chill. As always, joined by head coach Brett Larson. Brett, a lot of positives to review on the clips this week. Let's take a look at this first clip. It's great angles there taken by Nolan Walker that ends up leading to a goal for the Huskies. Great angle and stick position. He knocks that pass down with his stick, and obviously the guys get to the net from there. This is a quick hit, quick attack. You want to Once you turn a puck over, you want to get it back to that scoring area as quick as you can. You see Easton Brodzinski get right to the front of the net, uh, cause some havoc, and Hinch just get the rebound. That's what you call those grease pan goals yes. when you follow it up. And again, as you mentioned, multiple layers getting in on the attack after a turnover. The second clip, it's a power play opportunity, but it's not necessarily the goal scorer, but it's the two players away from the puck that create the opportunity. Yeah, for sure it is. Obviously, Brodsey in front again, like that's kind of his area. You know, he's a, he's a great net front guy. You see him get his uh, rear end out there. Uh, established position, stick to the paint, draws a lot of attention to him, which opens up Nolan Walker to get to that tip area. And Walker's almost that, that quarterback spy in yes. football. As he's reading Miet and getting the stick down ready for a deflection, a pass, yeah. he makes that whole play happen. He really does. He uh, Basically, Miettinen's trying to bait the, the defender's stick as well. Maybe a pump fake here, you see the stick move. Walker's trying to find that space and connect. Now, we also talk about, you know, for our last clip is set face-off plays that yep. can be so important, especially in the offensive zone, defensive zone, actually any zone. But here it's Mason Salkwist, and it's him finding that soft area after winning the draw and getting himself set up for a great offensive chance. Well, you see a little confusion where the, the wing goes high, the D goes down the wall. So right there, you confuse their coverage a little bit. Salkus finds the soft area and gets a good shot on that. And as a freshman, you know, that level of maturity in his game, you're recognizing it's not just getting there, it's also the timing of when to back off. The too. timing is finding that space, being deceptive. You know, we played three years of junior hockey. The kid does have a lot of experience. He's an older player, you can see it there. Face offs, one of the key areas you are gonna take to get back to an NCAA Frozen Four. Uh, thank you again for joining us, and we will see you guys back here on another episode of Hockey and Chill here next time. Thanks for having me.